Hey everyone, welcome back to Upshuck Boss. My name is Ashley and today I am going to walk you through how I made this stunning purple and teal geode. So let's get started. Also, I have a super awesome announcement at the very end, so stay tuned. You don't have to prep it with gesso. Um, I chose to do so here. And what you can't see is on the back, I also taped the edges. So that way, whenever the resin runs under and forms those drips, that I can just pop it right off the next day. I'm taking my Flex Seal Glue. You can also use something like E6000. You just want a super strong glue or adhesive to be able to hold everything down. I'm not following any specific pattern or anything. I'm just picking a couple spots and putting some rocks down and just trying to see whether or not that is enough. And I decided to just sort of leave it at the two spots for now. And I did it add in a third spot later, which you will get to see. But normally you wanna go ahead and let this part dry. I was a little impatient and decided to go ahead and start mixing my resin anyways. If you're not sure how to mix resin, I do have a video right here. You just really wanna make sure that you're mixing it until you no longer see any streaks. And then when you switch it into your colored cups, you want to go ahead and mix again for another three minutes and that's going to give you the best mix possible. I know that's been one of the biggest questions that I get is how to mix properly because it's so hard to make sure that you're not going to get all those soft spots and that is really the best surefire way that you can do that without it uh, turning out to be uh, a crappy cure. Now that I've mixed up all my colors, I'm going to go ahead and start with my dark purple. This is the Gatsby from the Faux Rizzle art website and I do have that linked in my description below. It's a really pretty dark dark purple and I thought that that would be the best base for this particular geode because it matched the rocks that I did. Um, and I'm just using my finger to push the resin up towards the rocks because I didn't wait for it all to dry so they still move. Alright now this gives us a really good base to go off of and now I'm just going to start building my lines. Whenever you're adding lines onto your geode, you really want to make sure that you're following the flow of whatever you've already put down. So if you notice, when I start doing my lines, I do my silver right around the outside of my purple rocks. I also have a translucent violet that I decided to use here just to kind of um, accent with that dark purple to re create this really pretty light look. And then now I'm going to do my teal right along and follow that same path, but it's just going to go all the way off to the other side of the wood. But I'm still following the same path that was already laid out from the other colors. And then you're just going to keep doing that. You're going to keep layering and keep following and going based off of that. Now because I didn't wait for the glue to dry with the rocks, I decided to add a little bit of clear resin so that way when I used my heat gun it wouldn't keep blowing all of the loose glitters off and into the other parts of my geode. So you could do that, honestly it would be way easier to just do it at first and then build your colors from there. Um, but I 
was stubborn and decided not to and so I'm just trying to give you guys that warning um, it definitely does help when those rocks are set in place so if you can be patient that is obviously the best course and you'll see I did decide to add in just a little line of rocks up in the top here on this section and that's just because I felt like there were too big of a chunk of purple up there and I wanted to just sort of bring that back into this, the whole theme of everything. All right, so some of you probably skipped to this part because you're just as excited as I am. I just want to announce that I am the newest brand ambassador for the Faux Rizzle Art Resin. I am so excited and so honored, and I just wanted to tell all of you guys and shout it out to the world. I am super excited. And they decided to also give me a discount code to give to you guys. It's 15% off and you just have to use my code BOSS, B-O-S-S, -S, on their website and I'll make sure to link that in the description below.